For 11 years, a D.C. nonprofit program offered a different choice to the traditional court system for kids arrested on first-time misdemeanor charges. But today, that group closed its doors. But for how long and who's affected by this? We get more now from Fox 5's Jennifer Davis. These girls are here. You're looking at a mock court case that kids in the Time Dollar Youth Program are taking part in. But every Saturday morning for 11 years, D.C. students have gotten up early to do this for real. I learned to count to 10 and calm down, how to focus my anger. It's helping me in my grades and my life and my goals I want to achieve when I get older. Now this is your opportunity to tell the jury. This diversion program is run by a nonprofit and authorized by D.C. Superior Court, which allows its real courtrooms to be used. Kids spend 10 weeks as pure jurors, deciding each other's fate and handing down sentences that include things like community service. At this time, we would like for you to turn to your parent and give a verbal apology. They also learn how to avoid ending up back here again. This is a better way to help us not mess up our city. The organization runs on private donations and grants from the city. Friday, existing money ran out. So for now, the program must stop while officials apply for new grants and search for more funds. And this was our second chance for all of us, and um, taking that away is putting us back in the hands of the law, and um, I think we're all, we're all losing a lot. D.C. police, schools, and court services referred more than 850 cases last year and more than 200 so far this year. Just 13 percent of kids commit another crime. The group says that kind of track record deserves a line item in the city budget, so the program has some stability. The mayor says he's willing to discuss that. We look very favorably on this organization. I think we'll, we'll continue to work with them. And then in the future, who knows? Yeah, we, we should sit down early and see if there's a way to keep them going w without having any interruption in service. Since this program is ending before all of these young adults can complete it, now their cases are going to be sent back to juvenile court, and the court will decide whether to prosecute them further or come up with another answer. In Northwest, Jennifer Davis, Fox 5 News. It costs about $36,000 a month to run. They're short about $250,000 right now just to keep running through the fall. If and when they get the money, they plan to restart the program as quickly as possible.